Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're talking wrinkles uh, installation on our AnyCubic Cobra S1. What is wrinkles? Wrinkles is a firmware overlay that exposes some more features. Listening, AnyCubic exposes features of your Cobra S1. It exposes things like being able to use um, Orca Slicer, Fluid, Mainsail. It allows you to see the height map of your bed. And if you know what I've been going through, that would be super important to be able to see how warped is this bed. I think that's actually important for anybody who has a Cobra S1. Then at minimum, you should be able to see the level of your bed, see your bed mesh, and hopefully be able to try and fix it because a lot of us are struggling with that. So um, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I personally am not going to be installing wrinkles. Why? Well, I reached out to any cubic uh, support and I was like, Hey, um, I'd like to install wrinkles. Is that going to avoid my warranty? And they replied, Yes, any firmware install will void your warranty. And I was like, well, it's not really a firmware. It's an overlay. And they said it would void the warranty. So that's a problem for me. I can't have this brand new printer, which currently has not worked out of the, well, I shouldn't say it worked for 30 hours out of the box. And then it all went to, you know, garbage. And I've replaced this and that and waiting on a new bed, which hasn't even shipped a week later. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for that. So if I void my warranty, I have a, a printer that is now useless and I, I can't do that. Maybe after my warranty period is up, I, I'll, you know, most likely do it. But until I can get this printer working, I just, I just can't take the risk of any cubic seeing Doug does stuff and be like, Hey Doug, we like that you do stuff, but the stuff that you did voided your warranty have a great day. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but I will show you how easy it is because it's, it's really easy from what I've read on the web. Um, and I know there's people are going to be saying, Doug, I use wrinkles and any cubic has given me support. And I know that, and I've seen that. And I, I, I did want to take that risk, but while I usually go with, um, you know, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is permission. I asked for permission on this one and, and I didn't get it. So, uh, yeah, uh, I know people have sent any cubic, their bed mesh from wrinkles and they've sent them new beds after seeing it. I just, maybe it's the support person I got that doesn't know, but I have it on record until I hear differently. That's what I'm going with, but let me help you guys out by showing you how easy this is. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. So you're gonna need a USB stick, uh, really simple. Uh, you're gonna take it and pop it in. So let me do that and get you over here. All right, I'm just gonna zoom you in rather than doing a screen capture here. All right, this is super simple. You just come on in, you find your USB, you right click, you go to format, and you want to make sure that your file system is FAT32. FAT32. You hit start. You hit OK. You wait, I don't know, what, 10 seconds? Yeah, somewhere around there. You hit OK. Close it out. Now you have a fresh drive. The first thing you're going to want to do is go over to Wrinkles. Um, if you're on their uh, main GitHub, which is just look up wrinkles and and it will pop up. Let me zoom you out so you can see my screen a little bit better. All right, you just go over here to wrinkles on GitHub and it'll pop up. Within here, just scroll down a little bit. They actually have a quick start guide um, right here. And it, I mean, it really is this easy. There's two options. You can install it as an offline or an installer. The installer seems easier just because it gives you, from what I've seen, the ability to uh, 
download updates and all that right from right from the printer. So I would come here, um, reading these directions. It looks like the first thing you you would have to do is copy this right here. Go into your USB drive, create a new folder, and name it that. All right, and then within that folder, you're going to put the release. So you come over here to the release page and scroll down to this part where it says assets. And you can either pick uh, the installer for the K Cobra 2 or the Cobra S1, and or you can do the update. I would do, if it was me doing this, I would do the installer. I already did this. So I'm going to come over here, go to my downloads. There it is, uh, installer, you drag it over. Now that it's in your folder, you do have to rename it to update. All right, we did that. Let's eject that from the computer. All right, once that's ejected, all right, so we ejected that. Now the next thing you would do is take it out of your computer with uh, your Cobra on. You're going to take it, you're going to stick it in, and you're going to wait for about 10 seconds, it says, and then your installer will appear. If I can find pictures of this online, I will for you. Um, if not, you just got to look around. Once that is done, perfect you have um wrinkles installed and you can go from there uh the next thing you would have to do is come over to your computer um you'd want to find your ip address of your printer on your network and you come up here and you you put it in to your uh to your address bar as the you know one dot or one nine two dot blah 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 whatever you want to whatever it is you put it in there uh just make sure it's http colon slash slash printer ip and your main sale will uh pop up the other thing you could do is go into orca and in orca you would uh let me get it up for you all right, over here in Orca, once you're in, all right, you would come up to the printer over here. You would hit connection, and then, yep, that's good. Under host name, you would put in whatever it is, 192.168.1.1. I don't know, I'm just making it up. It's not going to work. You hit OK. Now, when you come here, uh, I guess you could hit test. It's going to fail because I don't have it installed. Yeah, it's not going to work. But anyway, once you do that, it would pop up another page. Yeah, I know. It would pop up another page for you to... Um, it would connect and you'd come over here to the device tab. And you would see everything right there. You would see... Um, I guess like a fluid page or maybe a main sale page and that's that uh again i am incredibly disappointed that uh any cubic would void the warranty over putting on wrinkles um because i put everything up here on youtube i i just i can't take that risk unfortunately as i really did want to uh show you guys how unlevel my bed was but uh that's that i wish you guys the best of luck with it uh let me know how it goes let me know how much fun it is and let me know if it makes your printer better because that's really the point of all this and i, I really wish any cubic would listen the point of all of this is to make what they created better to make it work for people i don't want to be able to just print stuff and have it come out you know looking like sometimes absolutely perfect and then sometimes i gotta find an example
and sometimes coming out like, you know, yeah, I don't know if you can see it in that one, but gaps and layer lines and all that kind of stuff. So that's that. That's how to install wrinkles. Good luck. Happy 3D printing to you guys. I'm not happy and uh, I hope any cubic knows it. So good luck.